cancer and antiviral immunity are quite similar, as people who are involved in the cancer field have known for quite a long time. Yes, but I'm going to keep going. No, no, it's good. Go, go for that. No, 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 no. I want you to keep going. I like what you're saying. You're, you're, you're kicking in your role. I'll comment when I need you here. So, no, so, so look, at the end of the day, fundamentally, Grant, um, it's a biological phenomenon for protection. You may call this a cancerous cell. You may call it an infected cell. Both cells are what we call non-normal or either transformed in the cancer or infected in, in the form of whether it be bacterial or whether it be viral. And they, in, they, they send out signals called DAMPs or PAMPs. These signals are recognized universally by your CD4, CD8 T cells and your natural killer cells. So it's a universal phenomenon. That's what why I'm trying to say, where we're Adam is saying, where you call it cancer, where you call it infectious, where you call it hepatitis, where you call it blah, blah. It all depends, however, how the infection or how the cancer actually modifies itself to the host. So we've been looking at this, in my mind, the wrong way because we've been playing checkers and the cancer and now the coronavirus is playing chess. Because what we need to do is understand that the treatment we give adapts. And this virus or this cancer adapts to the treatment. By treat so we need to sort of figure out the host rather than the, 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 um, the, 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 the attack call. So this virus behaves like cancer. It invades. It hits a receptor. It happens to be called an ACE2 receptor. On the cancer, you can take a HER2 receptor. You can take other receptors. It integrates. And, and, and the cancer, it, it mutates, it suppresses. It actually causes, this is what's so scary, it causes uh, immune suppression. And as a very sophisticated immune suppressive mechanism, it, it hits at the type 1 interferon level and it goes all the way down in many levels. So that's why you actually don't feel sick. That's why this asym that's why it's so dangerous, this virus, because it's taken away all the danger signals. You don't feel sick but it's now replicating. I call this damn virus eating you from the inside out. It's just <laughs> eating and growing. And that's why this virus is so, it has this incubation period and it's, the virus replicates. Now that it replicates, it can go to any part of the body. And if you look at the ACE2 receptor, it's in huge parts of the body, the GI tract, the brain, the blood vessels. Um, so the symptoms that you get, and this ground glass that you get, that's why, I, that's why you say 57% of people, the statistics show that if you're asymptomatic and you go do a CAT scan, 57% of them have ground glass. So you're getting, I don't know what's going to happen four years from now, three years from now. Are these going to be fibrotic lungs? Are they going to have pulmonary fibrosis? Are they going to get cancer? Are they going to get COPD? We don't know. So I, I want to send that message out to the young people that this is not sniffles. This is not flu. Uh, when people are now, you just listen to Chris Cuomo, he's got what he called COVID brain. Uh, when they talk about chronic fatigue syndrome, when you talk about tingling and numbness, uh, people are now talking about clinical depression even. This thing is affecting somewhere, somewhere down the line in the central nervous system. When you're looking at the, um, uh, death, the hypoxia is not just hypoxia. So there's microemboli, there's, it's not even affecting, you know, in cancer and pancreatic cancer, there's a thing called tissue factor. And where you look at pancreatic cancer, you always get embolus, you know, you, you get emboli, uh, microemboli in, your, in, in, in the gut and, and around the pancreas and around the portal vein. What, what, what's going on? Well, this thing's doing the same thing. So it's creating some degradation in, that's why these people, you need now blood thinners. Um, you have ACE receptors in the kidney. Uh, you have ACE receptors in your gut. Um, that's why you find this thing in the stool, and then, uh, and that's why you find this thing in the urine. So this is not a virus to be messed with.